walk for the animals. So, Deputy Melinda Hester happened to drive up. Just happened to roll on through. Just happened to. Out on my unofficial official day off. Yes, on her, her unofficial official. It's unofficially official, but I'm off today. And she brought us some, some masks, which was awesome. But she also uh, per participated as one of our judges. I saw a little bit of the contest. I mean, she kept my son, who was also doing it, Good under time. control. You know, it really helped. And so we thought, I thought, that since she was here, she's amazing. And I have known her Ooh, for over amazing. 20, for like 22 years. Like her, 98. I'm only 16. Why well, are you only 25? Oh, well, Whatever. But we have been in this for a long time together. I've been here in the shelter and the animal welfare taking care of animal side, and Deputy Hester has been out in the field, keeping animals safe, helping people come. Oh, we're live again. We're back. We're back. You didn't even know we were gone, did you? <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. We don't have really good Wi-Fi because we spent all of our money on our animals. So, um, I'm going to let Melinda talk for a second because you, you got you to gotta meet this, this great <laughs> woman, and then we'll discuss um, our potential mascot names. Well, thanks so much for letting me drop in, guys. Again, I'm Deputy Melinda Hester with the Durham County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I've been working in the animal control capacity uh, since 1998, which is how I know Shafonda. Uh, we've seen a lot of transitions through the shelter from animal control going to the Sheriff's Office and maintaining an, a very absolute wonderful, amazing working relationship. If you guys don't know, when an animal services deputy comes out to a call, if we have to impound an animal, um, we bring it to the shelter, and it's great that you guys are making these donations because that is how APS takes care of the animals that we bring in until we can hopefully get them rehomed um, and then or return to owner. So um, it's just I'm just so glad that you guys are here. We love participating in the walk. We usually have a table every year, but the fact that we're still able to somehow be out here doing a virtual walk is amazing. Technology is amazing. We want everyone to stay safe and stay socially distant, but still enjoy time with your pets and be able to donate to the Animal Protection Society. So thank you so much for participating. I will remind you, when you walk today, you do have to have your pets on a leash or an electronic device that allows you to maintain control of your animal. And no matter how well they're trained, voice restraint is not adequate restraint by the ordinance. So I might not be working today, but we have eyes everywhere. And don't forget <laughs> your poop bags. Don't forget your poop bags, because it is by ordinance required for you to pick up after your pets. So please remember to do that today, but please do get out and enjoy this weather. Um, there are lots of places that you can go, whether it's right out through your neighborhood or one of our um, parks that's open, such as the Eno or Little River. Please take advantage of being able to walk today. So thanks for having us. Keep those things in mind. And let's talk about... I do want to say one news. great thing before we did this, um, because you, you got a little serious, which was good. Oh, I got serious. She got serious. She got serious. I forgot I was off. Yes, yeah, she forgot she was yes. off. Um, I do want to point out that we are aware that we are currently experiencing one of the most difficult times in the history of our nation. Our heart goes out to everyone affected by this horrible virus. We are here for you. We are thinking of you. We are also collecting food to help you. So if you have friends or neighbors who are going through a difficult time right now, we cannot let the day pass without acknowledging what we are currently going through. So let's move on to happy times and the fact that we now have an APS mascot. Yes. Yay. And so some of our wonderful, wonderful volunteers, donors, supporters have thought of some names that I will let Melinda share them with uh, you. These are great names and keep the names coming because this contest is going to the end of the walk and then we will announce the names. We got a Roscoe, we got a Dapper Danica, or Dan, because we haven't decided if we got a Spade or Lee pet yet. Dapper Dan or Danica of Durham, we've got Murph, we've got Spot, my personal favorite, Spot E Dog. Oh, I like right? that. Wooly E Wooly. Scott E Dog. Wooly. We've got Dottie, we've got Chippy, we've got Ohio, and then we've got, again, we got Dapper Dan and Dapper Danica. So keep those suggestions coming. These are great names. We are not done yet, so please keep submitting. Just put your names down in the comments, and we will check them out, and then we will be voting on the name of our new APS mascot. Yay, because most of our animals right now are in foster care, so we had to bring a dog in so that we could feel good every single day, even if it has to be a large furry like dog without a name so that's why we really really need a name 
So we decided this would be a perfect time while you are entering those names. Remember Roscoe, Dapper Danica, Murph, Spot, Spotty Dog, Dottie, Chippy, Ohio. What about Durham? I'm putting Durham in there. And then Dapper Dan of Durham. So remember to continue to post under the names under our original live and we will announce what our dog's name is at the end of today's showing. You know yeah. what, let's pull some raffle tickets while we've got their attention. And the raffle oh, tickets, we need raffle tickets. We need raffle tickets. Yes, oh, oh, look, how <laughs> convenient. It's a basket, you take me on a picnic. Is that a picnic basket? I, yeah. Okay, well, after we pull these names, Siobhan is taking me on a picnic after the walk. Absolutely, because we can do that socially distanced right, outside. That's right. that's right. Okay, so I'm going to do like, I'm gonna shake this up, because like, I don't want, shaking, I'm, stirring. I, I, I'm stirring because I don't want any of your friends to end up Where are winning. your latex gloves? Uh, they, they, uh, well, they're on, but you can't see Is them. Is that hand sanitizer in the building? Because after I touch you, I'm going to move it. Okay. All right. All right. My wash my hands like really good. Okay. So we're going to pull two. Um, Fido gift basket of assorted dog goodies worth three hundred and sixty dollars and this has been shaken and stirred and we're going to use hand sanitizer and soap after this pull. Sure. I, I do have ladies gloves. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hold on. That one didn't feel right. Didn't feel right? Didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Okay. 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 What do you have? All right. The winner is Debbie Sanders. You are the winner of this Fido three hundred and sixty dollar basket. That is a lot of stuff for a dog. My dog, you know, he would eat right through three hundred and sixty dollars. But I hope your pet enjoys that. It is three hundred and sixty dollars worth of pet stuff for your dog. I'm gonna sanitize. I'm gonna go back in. This thing's coming. Wait, come on. Hold on. You gonna? She's she's sanitizing use, in between yes, pools. I love her. The proper use of hand sanitizer is that you rub it all in <laughs> until your hands are dry in case you don't know it's not just like oh yeah i feel good oh, no. please rub it in if you don't have effective effective use all right we're gonna do this again okay wait wait do we want to say what it is though sure go ahead okay so our third prize this is amazing 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 um it's one hour photo shoot with alley cat photo and video services a 360 dollar value now let me tell you about alley cat they are amazing. They did my sister's wedding. They did my daughter's prom. They, they are so good. So this is an amazing prom. Good, good gift. Alley cat. Wow. Oh, no friends. No friends. I'm shaking it again. It feels, it feels right. It feels right. Okay. Okay. All right. Touch one of them. Try to come with me. Okay. If I don't get your name right, you know who you are. This is Julia Palmucci, possibly, P-A-L-M-U-C-C-I. Julia Palmucci, you are the winner of a photo shoot with Woo! Alley Cat. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Is that the theme, $360? Uh, well, like, I, think, I, I think it might be. Yeah, so if you would like to donate another $360 to this walk, that oh, is yeah. the theme. That's the, that's the magic number for this hour, $360. $3.60. Every little bit counts when it comes to the animals. <laughs> at the Animal Protection Society of Durham. No, we are just $3.60 a day. It'll make a difference. Buy a treat, get a pet, or a five second session with Julie. Try it out. So now that we invited this, this star here, um, what I mentioned earlier is that Melinda was one of our amazing judges. Well, let me just tell you, that was so fun. I was at the end of my work day. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties getting logged on, but we logged in and it really broke up my day to just get to watch some great video submissions of these categories. So I just want to thank all the other judges. Uh, Willie Bull was a little chatty, um, <laughs> so I think next year we should consider, you know, he Someone really just else? tried to take over. Yeah, he did. Just talked the whole time. Yeah, but, and that um, little two thumbs up, what's that? Two thumbs up. Uh, you know, the two horns Is up. Is it a or what? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was just a fun time. Thank you to the other judges that helped participate. Thank you to everyone who submitted videos and photos of your pets for these contests. It was, I don't know who had the job of picking the top ones that we were going to vote on, but um, it was really, really tough. I mean, we had dogs, we had cats, we had a hedgehog, we had rats. 
I mean, just a little Everyone. bit of everything. It was so, so good. So, so. I do want to say, um, since Melinda did mention how difficult things were, um, in, in, in order to like cut down the submissions, we had so many amazing submissions this year. Everyone, we didn't get a chance to share everyone online, but we do appreciate your submission and we did look at them. We also have our special WOW Executive Director Choice this year who's posted on our, on our website. Executive Director? That's me. Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what they call me. Well, in my face. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so we um, introduced the contest. So, so go we, had a, a look, Hi, we had a look-alike contest. We had a costume contest. We had a best trip contest. And we had a best kiss contest. My personal favorite. I mean, it was so hard to choose it. choose. It really was. Thank you so much again to everyone who shared your pets with us, your tricks with us, who put the time and effort into making the submissions. Um, we really appreciate it. It was the highlight of my day. I'm going to go back and watch them some more and hopefully get to watch some of the other videos. Um, so we're going to, I guess we're going to up, you're going to get a chance to look at the videos now. Um, so please stay tuned. Hang out with us a little bit longer. Don't forget, get prepared to walk. Get your namaste on. Cool. We're going to warm up. We're going to cool down. And then we will be back. So check out these videos from our pet contests. All right, guys, we are signing off. We're going to post the pet contest videos, and we'll be back live at 12 p.m.